Once you have standard functions, you can create other functions by combining them, by defining operations on and with those functions. So suppose, consider, consider functions, two functions. Uh, function f with domain a, so a real valued function with domain a, f, and also a function g from a to r. Then we may sum them, they have the same domain, so f plus g, the sum of those functions, works on the same domain a to r, and we define f plus g, it's a number x, where x belongs to a, as just the sum of the images fx plus gx. Also we may form the product. The product is the product of f and g, is the function defined on a, and it's defined by just multiplying the images for some x, fx times the g of x. So these are very natural definitions. Now the following, the quotient or the fraction of the two functions, f divided by g. This is a function defined on a if only g is non-zero on a. So f divided by g, the evaluated in some number x, equals fx equals fx divided by g of x, provided that g of x is non-zero for all x in a. Yeah, otherwise we would need to leave this x out. So, let's focus on some examples. Well, very well-known examples are polynomials. Yeah, the class of polynomials is basically the class of sums of power functions. So, once we have two power functions, we may combine them and add them into polynomials. So, for instance, now, numerical example, fx equals x plus 1, so this is a linear function, and a quadratic one, g of x equals x squared, then these are functions defined on r, and we may define the product of those functions, of these two functions, f times g, which is evaluated in x, it's just taking the product of of x squared, which is g of x, times x plus 1, which is fx. Yes, finally, as a, we find the rational functions as equations of polynomials, so the fractions of polynomials. One polynomial divided by the other polynomial. Yeah, and make sure that the domain of a rational function equals all x's for which the denominator g of x is unequal to zero. Set C. Another very valuable way to derive new functions is that of composition, the operation that is called composition. So suppose we are given a function g, which maps elements from a set of a to a set of b, and f is a function defined on b, which maps uh, elements from b into c. So graphically, this looks as follows. So we have a set a and a set b and a set c. And suppose we pick an element x in A. Then we map it using G into B. So x becomes the G of x. Now G of x is in B, so we can pick it up and put it in C using F. So if we apply F to the G of x, 
then we end up in C. So actually what we did to the element X, we made a composition of F with G. So this is denoted as F through G. What happens to this element? First we apply first we apply the G of X and afterwards we apply the F to the G of X. So for example, suppose we are given a mapping F which is defined on the reals. So F is a function from R to R given by fx equals minus 1 plus x squared. You know, it's a straightforward quadratic function. And suppose we look at g. g is a function defined on the closed interval minus 2, 2 to r, and which is given by the g of x is the square root of 4 minus x squared. Yeah, you see that minus 2, 2, the closed set, minus 2, 2, is the natural domain of G. So we observe that actually the range of G, the range of G, well, G is always positive, not negative, so the 0 is included, and its maximum is attained for the value X is 0. So the range of G is 0, 2, which is included in the domain of f. The domain of f was basically the set of all real numbers. So we may define the composition f through g. So f through g is no more than mapping the image g of x using f and then we Compose, we substitute g of x into the prescript for the function f. So minus 1, and here is g of x, and we should square g of x. So actually, f through g in x equals, if we simplify this term over here, equals 3 minus x squared. Notice, however, that there's an order, f through g exists, but g through f does not exist. Why not? Well, actually, the range of f should be contained in the domain of g. Well, this is not always the case. For instance, take x equal to 3, then the f of 3 equals 8, which does not belong to the domain of g. We cannot Calculate the square root of 4 minus 8 squared. So the composition of G with F does not exist.